Hey y'all, welcome to Secret Liar, the 18th location in the Ahabuch quest line. So we are finding the thief of the last piece. And Power Tunes know about the mischiefs going around, so we asked them. And they suggested that NT might be the thief or at least doubt on him. Now Inti says Tadalok could be it. Hmm. So let's talk to Tadalok. Hmm. I'll be checking out each of the gods one by one. I don't know. And looks like Tadalok stumbled upon a weird place in the middle of nowhere. So this might be the place where we can find out who the thief might be. Tadalok has helped with the coordinates of the place which is the secret liar. Now we have to find clues to reveal the identity of the thief. So let's start. The location is 556 tiles long and will cost around 1.75 million energy. So far so good, I haven't yet found something, that might, that house might have something, oh in fact here's one of the notes. And with that note, that house has unlocked, earlier there were spikes around it. So now let's check inside. Answer of all hummingbirds. Hmm. Interesting. This indeed looks like a puzzle to me, and the answer to which only the hummingbirds know. So let me clear that out first, then we'll figure out the puzzle. We have some white symbols and some blue symbols and numbers from 1 to 6. Mm, still no idea what 
could be the solution perhaps you have to step on those in a specific order because i don't see any stones or such to place on them so it would be diggy stepping on them hummingbirds will tell us let's clear out and figure this out there's a journal in the center that will be the second one we still have to find three more such journals which may mean more difficult versions of this puzzle or something completely different i don't know let's find that out we are almost done with clearing out clearing I guess this one more time no I mean now let's talk to the hummingbirds white moon and sun will show you the path so that would be the white symbol let's talk to the next hummingbird blue turtle will devour your progress you have to avoid them Path leads from number towards the middle of the labyrinth. Reverse path shall not open. Hmm. What is that supposed to mean? Somewhere in the middle. So one to four. Maybe three or four, I guess. What would be the number in the middle of the labyrinth? I don't know. There is no number in the center. Maybe it just means uh, center number from 1 to 6. More hummingbirds might give us more hints. Walking on the suns. We have to avoid the blue turtles in any case. Yes, there indeed is a path which avoids all those blue turtles. But that is not right. One was never the number, I guess. So... Not sure why did I even think of that. Let's see if um, this something but actually I missed. Never step on numbers that are too high and too low, nor on the numbers of a round shape. So that is exactly why one did not work. I did not talk to this something bird earlier. Now round shape numbers, I think 5 is round shape, 3 is round shape, 6 is round shape, 4 is not round at all. So I'm trying from 4. This probably might work. Let's find that out. We have to trace the same path that we did earlier, which is stepping on the suns only. This is right. Yes, that is correct. Mm, will he be making fun of height? And this person, whoever is short, has accepted that. He has stolen the calendar. One of the gods was short. I don't exactly remember his name. But yeah, we'll figure out by the end of this. And it indeed looks like we have a harder version of the similar kind of puzzle. So let me just quickly clear the tiles.
with that done now let's talk to the hummingbirds hmm, they are not in the lower part they are up here this time and there are four different gates four different hummingbirds i mean eight hummingbirds so this is much complex i guess number is in round shape or to high never step on the white symbol of the moon and sun green will lead you down if coming from left and left from below so green is the transition from left to down either way so number that is not round 4 is likely but Let me talk to the other hummingbirds first. Opposite of high numbers, low numbers, one or two maybe. Yellow will lead to the right if you are coming from above. If you are coming from right side, it will lead you up. So this is exactly the opposite of green. And this hummingbird is really nice. He has simply told the number. Red does it mean stop? it will lead to down if coming from right and vice versa this one likes high numbers and blue is good okay so it looks like each of the hummingbird has a different kind of solution one likes high numbers one likes slow numbers one doesn't like round numbers and one has simply told 5 as the starting point so what i'm going to do is start with this and according to that note blue will lead to the left where was red supposed to lead obviously down because going straight was not an option then well, where was the yellow going to lead i don't know i will have to speak to the hummingbirds again kind of confused yellow is from up to right green is from right i mean left to down and vice versa and so number that is not round start from 4 this is likely going to be one of them yellow will lead right and there aren't many paths so i just directly went ahead and this indeed was one of the solutions hmm interesting so now starting with the other one opposite of high numbers the hints about the colors they are common for all hummingbirds the only starting point figuring out is different for each hummingbird and already found the one for the second bird third one i have to talk to the hummingbird again Okay, this one was five directly. This one was high numbers. Since so high numbers and five is already taken, this one obviously has to be six. Hmm, blue was leading to the left. Red had no option. Yellow was to the right. Blue again to the left. And if coming from left to the top. that opens the gate five was the next direct hint red is to the right green will take left and this one's the right again and that's the end point we have figured out all four of them this was quite interesting Puzzles got harder. I wonder if they are getting any harder further. We are yet to find one more journal piece. Ah, 
Also, levers are opening one by one gates. And in the next room, there might be the third journal. get much time to read that note but directed attention at the scuttle poka i'm not sure who this god is the last note will probably tell us everything about it because it's the last note we have to figure out now this one is even more interesting there is no such path to follow with walls. All the symbols are scattered around in the center and this is going to be fun. Let's clear out first and then we'll talk to the birds. And we are done. Now let's talk to the birds. First green, then red. Hmm. Fly to the right, then to the left. First green, then red, fly right, then left. Oh my, that's confusing. First orange, then white. Climb up, down and up. Again, these four must be different sets of puzzles. First grey, then yellow, first to the left, then to the right. Grey, yellow, left, right. Hmm. Green red, fly right, then left. Green red, left right. This is obviously stepping on those in a specific order. Not very sure, but I am going to try. First green, then red. It probably means cover all the greens first. And we are first flying to the right, and then we'll step on the reds because there is reds after green. And now with the reds, we are flying in the left direction, just as the note says. And that has worked. The 
that's nice so let's do them one by one first orange then white first down then up mm, orange white so we have to start from the up perhaps from the orange because that's what the note says and the next symbol going downward is to the right side it's not this one now this one okay orange is done now white from down to the top so this one comes first then to the left and one on the extreme top oops i stepped on wrong symbols so it has all erased of the progress i will have to step on the symbols correctly with attention because if i step on any other different symbol then the progress is lost and you have to start over okay now careful top lane is the safest okay second one done let's go towards the third violet then blue down then up violet blue down up last blue and that's ten so three out of four gray then yellow first to the left then to the right so gray flying to the left hmm, this were pretty much in line now there is a yellow on top make sure not to miss that and we are done now let's pull all those levers and find out who the culprit is as in who the thief is the last journal must be behind those gates Here's the last journal and here's a god child. And I have missed my tiles. So that's the end of the tiles. And let's see. Wonder when we shall see. It is I who it's a pots. Okay. The name has been revealed directly in the note so that's it we have found who the last thief is now we just have to talk to Hitsi and giving something else instead of calendar is not acceptable but we will figure out how to deal with it ahead for now thank you for watching